It makes me want to hug myself like 24-7. That's how the jacket is. So, 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 so... Like there can be someone else in here. <laughs> oh my god, I keep burping and just hiccuping. <sighs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine and thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you're coming back, thank you so much for watching my videos again. Today, as you can tell by the title, you are getting to look into my, um, I was gonna say sneak peek, but no, this is no sneak peek. You're literally getting to look into my winter and autumn jacket collection 2020. 2020 is officially almost over, guys. It's almost over. Honestly, I can't wait for it to be over. And yeah, let's just get on with it. I'm gonna show you guys my favorite jacket pieces that I own that's in my wardrobe right now. Jackets are a staple piece and jackets kind of speak for themselves. So yeah, we're just gonna put them on and I'm gonna show you guys where I got them from and what kind of jackets they are. So yeah, let's get straight into it. Grab some snacks, grab some tea, grab some coffee, whatever you want, because this is gonna be a long video. <gasps> oh my God. <laughs> Hiccup and burp at the same time. Ooh, stinks. First off, we have a puffer jacket. So I have actually, this is my full collection. There's about 14 jackets in here. But this isn't my full collection. I have about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven jackets downstairs that I didn't want to bring up because honestly, <laughs> <laughs> this one is from Zara. Oh, this is such a nice jacket. Um, I saw this in store and I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. This is the jacket and let me put it on and I'll show you guys why I love it so much. Right, the reason I love this jacket so much is because it's literally like a duvet for me. I love this color, but the only thing is it literally is like a duvet. I love the fact that it's a cropped jacket. It's just so big. I think I got this in a size large. And I just love how oversized it is. Um, if you want to size down, you definitely can stick to your normal size. So I would be a size small. But I wanted it to be more oversized. Like I said, I just love the fact that it's just so like snugly. It's super warm, by the way. It's super cozy. And this color is to die for. And yeah, you can zip it up like this and I also love this um, detail I'm just like, scared I'm gonna get makeup on this but I love how it's like curved at the side can you see there and it kind of dips low at the back I love that because it means it's gonna keep me warm um, these jeans are a bit too big for me so it keeps sliding down um, but yeah this is how it looks these days shops are like selling jackets that are like shirt and jacket which is not even that warm like for 50 60 pounds so for me to get like a big bomber jacket that's going to keep me warm in the winter months for 50 pounds you cannot go wrong and yeah i just love this also the material is very different it's like almost like a rubber fabric but it's not and i think this is water repellent as well i'm not too sure don't quote me on that. Right, so this is the next coat jacket situation that I own in my wardrobe. You might have seen me wear this a lot on my Instagram. I know some of you guys have already bought this through my recommendation. So thank you so much for using my link and buying them. It means so much when I see that you guys buy my recommendations. That means I'm actually doing my job properly. So this is an oversized coat and I picked this up from H&M. This was... 60 pounds and I don't think that's very pricey for the quality of this coat. It's a really nice wool material I don't think it's a real wool for the price because woolen materials they can cost like up to a hundred pounds I don't know if this is real or not. Honestly, don't think it is. What I love about this jacket the most is how oversized it is I have bought coats. Honestly, I bought like five coats before I thought oh this this is the coat um, before I decided to keep this in my wardrobe permanently. So this is very oversized, which I like because in the winter time, I want to layer clothes inside my coats. Otherwise, there's no point in me keeping a coat unless I worked in the office. Maybe I would, but I don't. So yeah, I wanted something oversized, relaxed, um, but still look very smart and presentable at the same time. And I just love the tone. It will go with anything like it goes right now with this outfit that I have going on. But yeah, I love this coat and it's definitely going to stay in my wardrobe forever. This is the first official coat I have bought this year and I absolutely love it. I'm definitely going to be keeping this for next year as well because I just love this and I don't think I'll ever like not want to wear it. I've worn it so many times already and I've got so many compliments as well. And also this is very Asian people friendly. Like I'm a five foot two and this reaches just like not all the way down to my ankle it's just before my ankle please excuse my hair today it's having a bad hair day and I need to wash it desperately but yeah we shall just ignore that 
The next coat is something I got from YesTyle. Um, I don't know if you have seen my YesTyle haul, please go check it out. Yeah, I bought this coat then. It's from their winter autumn fashion collection. I love this trench coat. This is like a gray color and I love how the stitching is like inside out kind of thing. I absolutely fell in love with this trench coat. This was like 38 pounds. It wasn't even that pricey for trench coats because this trench coat right here, it was 90 pounds from Zara. So considering this is very inexpensive, I just love this color. Um, anything dark and muted color that is my vibe as well I've really fallen in love with the color gray this year so yeah this trench coat is definitely one of my favorites at the moment I absolutely love it you can um, style this with anything and everything and also I love the fact that it doesn't trail on the ground either um, it's just a perfect length for a petite person I'll make sure to insert a picture right here of what the jacket's length is because I feel like you can see it much better when it's in a mirror or like a picture but yeah I absolutely love the color of this one and also the details like the tiny details of this trench is what drew me in so yeah this is the third jacket that I actually love that's in my closet right now so this trench is something I spent a lot of money on so this better be in my closet for the foreseeable future um this is from Zara this cost me 90 pounds the color for this trench coat is very classic so it's something that's always going to be in my closet um as long as I don't grow out of it I did buy a couple of trench coats this year and none of them were as nice of a quality as this is this trench coat is water repellent so that's another thing I love about it and yeah it's just really comfortable it's very oversized very slouchy and I just love it it's not so oversized where it's gonna like not look good on you if that makes sense but it's like enough oversized where it does look good on you and I feel like everyone should get this one because honestly it goes with any outfit I've worn this like 10-15 times already in the evening during the daytime it just looks good any time of the day next up we have a teddy jacket this is something I pulled out my closet this is from last year this is one pretty little thing but I feel like it's still a classic this year as well so this is a cream borg material I believe that's what it's called got this at a size 10 last year and it still fits me so hurrah I love the bust design on this it's got nice pockets and I feel like yeah this is still in season this year like Bor Borg I think that's what it is is very much in like you can see I have a couple of jackets with that kind of fleecy material but this is like all literally all of that material it's not the softest I'm not gonna like this is not as soft as the other jackets here that I own I wouldn't say this coat is super long but it's not super short either it's literally not a short coat but it's not a long coat if that makes sense it's like a midi length I think that's what it is I don't know if PLT have brought this coat back this year but if they have I'll link it down below and if they haven't I'll link similar ones down but yeah I I love this style and something like this is definitely gonna keep you warm it's such a nice evening jacket as well but yeah this is the other coat that's in my collection right now and I love it so much I say I love it about everything but honestly I do if I didn't love it I wouldn't be showing you guys oh my god this jacket is literally like a duet this is something new that I got from ASOS like four or five weeks ago and I haven't worn it yet because honestly it's not been that cold here in Scotland this is from ASOS design and I actually meant to wear it like this and then tie this around because this doesn't have the belt buckles but I don't feel like I would wear it like that the belt and I would just wear it like this it's such a nice jacket I'll show you a picture of the length of this jacket oh my god literally drowns me it's literally like I'm wearing a duvet and walking around town like honestly this jacket is everything I don't know what's inside um honestly it feels very soft whatever is inside in here and it's like it's super warm I feel like this is gonna keep me so cozy I wish I could go on a ski vacation with this jacket it's so big honestly guys I love the fact that it's got pockets and yeah this is something that's new in my wardrobe and I love it so much and I thought I'd, I'd show you guys I did buy this in a size 8 it's very oversized as you can see you fit another human being in here like that's how big this is look at it like there can be someone else in here that's how big it is but yeah this is the coat and I think it's a keeper I it's just like I feel like this is such a staple piece and honestly it just feels like I've got a duvet. Two hours later. It's like a sleeping bag. That's what it reminds me of, a sleeping bag, because we camp a lot, my family, and this is exactly what it reminds me of. Oh my god, I'll take it camping with me. This jacket is another jacket that came back from last year. I think this was the Molly Mae's collection last year with PLT. Oh my god, this jacket is everything. If only you could feel this. It is so, 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 so smooth. Like, 
so smooth honestly it's such a nice coat i loved this color so i kept it for this year as well i'm pretty sure i got this in a size 12 it's very oversized it's a lot more oversized than the cream one but yeah oh my god i really wish you guys could feel this i hope this is back in stock or maybe something similar like this in plt if it is i'll link it down below i feel like molly did such a great job with this coat honestly i could probably keep this coat in my collection for years years to come it will never go out of style because it's that classic like you know for faux fur jacket and in a classic color as well but yeah this is another coat that i absolutely love and honestly this coat is so warm it doesn't look like it's going to be warm but whew, this is so warm it's going to keep you so cozy can you see how soft this coat is i don't know if you can see it's like such a nice blanket oh next up we have another crop jacket and this is a brogue material this is from asos as well but it's from the brave soul collection hold on this kind of bugs me a lot when this happens this is so soft guys it's unbelievably soft it's not the same inside as you can see there's a little bit here but this part is the same so it just feels super cozy i'm scared i'm gonna get makeup on this this is a crop jacket like i said i love crop jackets even through the winter months i wear crop jackets i just love the style of them and how they look this one doesn't have um pockets but i, I don't know how i feel about that actually i've decided to keep it anyway because how soft it is and how cozy it is oh, it's just like the softest thing ever it's just like that coat that i just showed you it is literally to die for and i love the neutral color as well it's very comfortable and i grabbed this in a size 12 i believe so it's kind of oversized and i just love the look it's just just so cozy when i wear this jacket next up we have this jacket grab this from top shop now i I haven't taken the tags off because I don't know how I feel about this jacket. I love the jacket, but I'm not sure it's my type. As you can see, this is what it does. And I'm just not sure if this is my type in a jacket. This jacket was very expensive. It was £80. Very expensive, something I would invest in. But I just bought it straight away because I didn't think. This is a reversible jacket. So this is one side of it. Um, this is how it looks. It's got full leather here and then the cream Borg material like running through it. I'm gonna flip it over and then I'm gonna show you guys how it looks from the other side. Yeah, this is how it looks from the other side. Don't know how I feel about it because the full leather is in the inside now so it's gonna keep me kind of cold. But the, it does look cute and I love the concept. But I'm not really sure if it's worth 80 pounds let me flip it back oh my god now i kind of like it like i had it before like that like this oh so nice but yeah i might keep it so this is the one i picked up from boohoo last year last year longer jackets weren't very trendy so we didn't have a lot of those i believe i think so anyway um but yeah i love the color of this i've worn this so many times last year and definitely have worn it this year as well it's not as soft as the top shop one i'm just gonna say that right now i don't know if boohoo have this again this year i'll browse through their website and then if they have it i'll link it down below but yeah this is another jacket that I love just like right now it's going very well with this outfit that I have going on I feel like every single one of these jackets go well with a basic top and jeans it's just a staple thing isn't it basic top and jeans um but yeah this is the other oh my god sis what are you doing I'm sorry my sister interrupted but yeah this is a jacket that I absolutely love and I thought I'd show you guys that it's really great um yeah next up we have an oversized leather jacket that I picked up from misguided Originally there was a jacket like this in H&M that I really wanted to pick out and it was real leather But then it got sold out so quick and I couldn't grab it the second or the third time So I had to settle for this one from Misguided This was a fraction of the price though because that jacket was £140 or £120 This I got for like £28 so but yeah, I loved how oversized this is. I did grab it in a size 12. Maybe don't grab it in a size 12 because it is a bit too big. I've already styled this jacket so many times and I feel like an uh, oversized leather jacket is a necessity in anyone's wardrobe like during the autumn, um, winter season. Like a crop leather jacket is a staple all year round but I feel like an oversized one and that's like really long is a necessity also this year as well everyone has been wearing one of these and i also love the trend talking about crop leather jackets this one is from pretty little thing that i picked up i think at the beginning of lockdown part one this year around march april time and i still haven't worn out yet but i promise i will soon so this is on plt i sized up i got a size 12 and i just wanted a big oversized cropped leather jacket feel like it's a necessity in anyone's wardrobe you can style this up you can style this down you can do whatever you can wear it any time of the day it's just like with whatever outfit you can even wear it like this right now 
feel like everyone needs something like this in their wardrobe. I loved how simple this leather jacket is. It doesn't have any belts or anything. You know, all those belts. I always end up losing those belts. So it's just like, what's the point on having them? Because I'm never going to belt my jacket here. Who does that? No judgment here. Anyone can do whatever they want. And I'm pretty sure I bagged this one for like £20. It wasn't even that expensive. Or maybe £25. Maybe £20 pushing it. I think it was like £25, £26. I don't know. Maybe along £30. But nothing more than £30, okay? Definitely not £20. Um, but yeah, this is from PLT. And I feel like everyone needs one of these in the wardrobe. And it's definitely a staple in my wardrobe. Even though I haven't worn it yet. But I promise I will wear it soon. Next up, we have this. I mean, in jacket from pull and bear this was only 30 pounds guys Zara is selling a jacket like this for like 50 pounds but I grabbed mine from pull and bear from ASOS and oh my god I'm in love a really nice brown color as you can see yeah this one is so great I love it even though it doesn't have a hood I just love this color color has been so in at the moment this season at this time in 2020 so yeah, I picked myself one of these up I'm absolutely in love like I said only 29.99 so you can't go wrong I got this in a size large so it's very oversized but I like that I don't like my buffer jackets to be too big this is another piece in my wardrobe that I absolutely love and I feel like I'm gonna wear this to death so definitely gonna definitely gonna make up for the 30 pounds I spent on this jacket I believe everyone of you guys need this jacket in your life because honestly it's just so weighted and it's not weighted where it's like heavy but it feels like luxury quality for the price you pay yeah definitely need something you all need in your wardrobe okay last but not least I haven't worn this jacket out yet so the tag is still here excuse that but this is basically the same as the jacket I just showed you, except this is like, oh, this is so cozy. It almost reminds me of a PLT um, big coat that I have, but it's just like a cropped version of it. Um, like I said, I love big boxy jackets like this, and I love the fact that they're cropped. This is from Zara. I don't know if I said that already. I saw this and I just couldn't pass it, and they had it in a different color as well. They had it in a white color. But I couldn't risk it with a white jacket, like I wear makeup all the time. I'm just scared with these kind of jackets, I kind of hold them up right here. So I'm scared I'm going to get makeup on the white one. So I did not want to risk it because it was like pure, pure white. So I did pick this one up in this like really dark chocolate brown color. I just loved it and I picked it up straight away when I was in town. And yeah, this is the last jacket that I'm going to show you. I feel like all these jackets are such a staple jacket to have in your wardrobe. Of course, I'm not saying you have to go out and buy them all. I hope I didn't ramble on too much i'm not saying you guys need to buy everything like i said um little disclaimer right there i wanted to show you guys this jacket collection because i love every single one of these pieces and i thought maybe one of you guys might find this helpful and to see everything like tried on and maybe you've had your eyes on some of these items for a while but were unsure about it so hopefully i've helped you with this video um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed it Please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel to join the family if you haven't already. Make sure to check out my other videos where I also try on loads of clothes. And yeah, I hope you guys are doing well and keeping it safe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!